Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about Obsidian um, note-taking app and why I have switched from Rome Research to Obsidian. So let's dive in. So um, to get your Obsidian, you go to obsidian.md and get the Obsidian for Mac OS. It's still in a beta version, um, which is now 11.5. So it is a beta version. It's not yet official app. And they have mobile apps coming out soon. Uh, with regards to pricing, at the moment, it's actually a free app. So it doesn't cost you anything to use it. Now you have also add-on services and I have paid for a sync option. I'm hoping that the iPad version is going to come soon and that I can sync across the devices. The great thing about a sync um, add-on service is that it has end-to-end -end in encryption. And I like that much better than Rome because if someone knows my password, they can get into my Rome from everywhere. Rome does not have encryption and it doesn't even have a two-factor authentication, which is one of the things I don't like about Rome. If I'm wanting to write a book or if I wanted to write some articles, I prefer to have it encrypted so no one can easily break into it. If you want to selectively publish the notes, it's $8 um, uh, with lifetime early bird pricing, uh, and that's per month per site. Um, at this stage, I'm not really using it, partially because I use Ulysses as well for writing, and uh, this um, easily uh, exports files in the Markdown, which Ulysses can easily open. So I don't really need to use this. This will also export into PDF files as well, if you need to. So after you've downloaded your um, uh, Obsidian for Mac OS, uh, you'll have to install it onto your computer. So I have done this now and um, when you do it first time you will get just this um, this window here and open a folder as a vault. What that means is if you're using Ulysses or any other Markdown um, type um, uh, program uh, you can open that folder using Obsidian and then you can sync your files into that. At this stage, I don't really want to use that, so I haven't gone down that track, but I've created a new uh, vault. Um, normally, you have also automatically Obsidian help vault that you can go into it, which is this one here. And you can just push create and it will create a new vault. It's a bit like a workspace, for example, in Notion. The reason why I've moved from Rome uh, was that one, it didn't have a two-factor authentication, which I didn't personally like because, as I said, I can have some um, sensitive files or what I think it's sensitive files and I would prefer that they are saved on my uh, computer. And that's what Obsidian does. So all your files are saved on a computer. This is the, the notes. So this is the notes on my computer. I'll put them here. And if I open them, uh, these are the folders. Exactly the same folders as they are uh, in Obsidian, uh, Obsidian. So you can see them here. Book notes, book notes, medical articles, medical articles. If I get into the file, it has this MD extension to it, and that just means Markdown. What is a good thing about Markdown files is that it doesn't matter what happens to any text writing application, you will be able to have a program that can open it. So Ulysses can open it, you can export these things, um, just the plain text uh, editor in, uh, on Mac can open it, lots of different programs can open it. And it also has a really easy syntax, but I'm not going to go into that. One, it's much more secure, someone has to break into compute my computer to do that. Two, um, 
as um, as said, Rome doesn't have two-factor authentication either. So I don't know if someone managed to get into my Rome and it's reading it from the web, uh, website. So I didn't really like that. There are a few other things that I didn't like um, on the Roam. And one is that I really struggle with the unlinked uh, mentions or backlinks. And that um, um, just didn't work so much. I knew I had files, I would test it, but I wasn't really sure why it wasn't working. It just wasn't. The other thing is you couldn't make these folders in Roam. Uh, each node was a file, um, but you couldn't kind of have folders. And I'm not truly a person who works through a lot of different files. It's more, this one most, more suits me. There is some sort of um, organization to it. I have imported my notes from Rome. So if you go, it's in here, open Markdown Importer. Uh, and you can import, click these um, things from the uh, from the Rome Research, or if you have Link Fixer, you can link those two, and then you start conversation. And it says that I have processed all my files. I haven't. I don't have any modified files and replacements. And that's an easy way to get the bank backlinks that you've had in Rome use into um, in the. Um, in Obsidian. If you want to create a new note, it's this one here, this is a new folder, and you can actually sort your notes. You can sort your notes alphabetically uh, or by um, uh, time or by create modified time or by created time. If uh, I want to make a new note in a certain folder, I right click on my mouse and it just adds it. If I just put new note here, it will add it into the uh, basically vault as a new note. While this one, if we look at it here, there is that untitled note. So it's easier way to get it right into the folder. And as soon and I, as I've put that, because I have some kind of uh, links in the previous articles, it will say that there are link uh, linked mentions and there are three articles that I have breast cancer within it Which is a great thing and there's also unlinked men mentions. There are 52 unlinked mentions So I can straight away go through my notes and link them It works with the unlinked mentions or unlinked backlinks much much better than Rome at least for me if you want to write things um, And I want to, let's say, link uh, Rome Research. I do similar as you did in the Rome Research, double bracket. Let's say Rome uh, Research. I've linked it to this article. And if I want to open it in a new pane, I can just do that. And I'm going to now have this article next to it, a bit like having two panes working at the same time in the Rome. So this way I can write something else that uh, happens with regards to this. If I want to just close it, um, I can just do that here. So if you want to see it as a preview file, so without uh, kind of uh, those markdown um, of, of uh, options you can just do it here and now you, you see that you don't have those double brackets um, you can here um, link with a pane um, pin it uh, split vertically sp split horizontally so I sometimes want to open another one or if I'm writing two different things um, um, and uh, commenting uh, on reading something I can do that through here uh, you can also open um, this um, file in a local graph, which is much uh, easier to do than uh, it was in uh, um, Rome. So now I can see just 
this graph and I can move it around to see a bit better what are the three articles that this is being linked to. So that's because of the linked. Um, here you can see the graph views. So you can straight away see all my uh, basically articles and notes and everything else. Um, this is that a Markdown importer that we talked about before. Insert templates. So um, in your settings, um, you have some options that you can do and you can um, uh, spell check and change them, how you look at the um, uh, uh, files and links, what, it is look, what does it look like. Now you can use the different themes or you can browse for a community themes uh, through here. And there might be some different ways of how the themes look like that you can use and download. What are the hotkeys? So this is um, to create new notes, um, create new Zettelkasten notes and everything like that. Um, so there's a lot of different uh, quick uh, options available. About, um, you want to have automatic updates, uh, Obsidian help, language, uh, commercial license, I don't have that. Um, about your account and if you want to uh, do or upgrade your accounts and these are the core plugins so you I've opened quite a lot of them but when you start you're not going to have these opened as much um, so like backlinks um, uh, tags uh, page previews um, markdown so this is the one that I've opened up to be able to import and uh, use the backlinks from the Rome research daily notes um, open today's note templates so if you're going to have a template you can uh, put it into template zeta custom prefixes so if you're going to do that it's going to put the date like that in a file note random note um, i might actually not use that i'm not very good with random notes um, you can display the outline word count you can um, uh, use the slides from Markdown, audio recorder. So if you want to use the audio files to record and uh, opening default application, different workspaces, publish and synchronize. Community plugins, I'm in a safe mode and so it's uh, on. So I can't use any community plugins. It's because of the safety issues. So these are the templates. So I've changed the date template because I prefer date, uh, month, year rather than American way of year, month, month, date um, and time format. And then the Zettelkasten, it will um, basically looks like that uh, because at 1046 on uh, um, 16th of March 2021. You can change that to this number, but I didn't see the point of it. Uh, you could possibly delete um, as well some stuff. So those are your basically changes in your settings. So because of that, I have gotten this create new Zettelkasten node. So if I do that, it will automatically has that time. Um, it's insert template. So if you have templates, I don't, I haven't put any yet, but if you have them like for books, authors and stuff like that, you can do that. Markdown importer graph, open quick switcher. And this is you can, where you can open another vault. If you want to star a certain note, let's say I want to start this one, I can just right click and put a star. And when I look into the start, it will be over here. So why am I doing this? Well, it's because I want to link my thinking. Um, I want to figure out the way that computer does what in some ways your brain does, which is link two pieces of information together. And this is the importance of the backlinks. And so far, I haven't found the greatest application. Lots of my notes are in the notion doesn't really have the options of backlinks or proper backlinks yet. Um, so uh, I have been trying to find a really good note-taking application. 
And because of that, I'm looking forward to figuring out how to do stuff in Obsidian and, uh, um, and sharing my knowledge and what I found good and what I haven't found good about Obsidian with you here. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.